The four-legged barrel sling. Hello everybody, welcome back. And in today's little exercise, what I'm gonna do is show you how to tie a four-legged barrel sling. In a previous video, I did a two-legged one. It was just known as the barrel sling. But in that video, somebody in the comment section asked a question as to what to do if you wanted more um, legs or cords around your actual barrel and so I didn't know the answer to that however since then I have discovered this little knot and to be honest it seems to be quite good I'm really pulling hard on this and the more I pull on it the more the actual knots are tightening around my pretend barrel here and to be honest this one really is a doddle to tie so what I will do is without too much further ado, I will undo this and let's get knotting. And I'll see you on the other side. See you in a second. So there's my barrel, plant pot, pencil case, pencil holder, whatever you want. This is what we're going to actually hold in our sling. But before we do that, let me show you what I've actually done to the sling up itself. What I've got is one continuous length of cordage here and I've joined both ends, joined both ends here with the fisherman's bend. And so the, it doesn't matter what knot you use here. That's the important thing. It doesn't really matter what knot you're using here. All you're doing is creating one complete loop. So the knot you choose at this end is your own preference. However, if you are actually lifting barrels, I would check out to see which knot is best for actually lifting your barrels. So anyway, let's now get on and actually tie this onto our barrel. So as you can see, in front of me, I have got my, there's a knot, there's my fisherman's bend in my actual cordage itself. So I have got one big circle of cordage. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold the knot in my left hand like so, stretch it out till I find the center point on my right hand side here, and there we have it. So that's the first part done. The next thing that we do is I just get hold of the right hand side and I put a twist in it like so, so that the cords end up crossing at this point here. The next thing I do is get hold of my barrel or in my case, my pencil case and I just bring it up. And what I'm gonna do is just measure it up a bit because what you want is it just to come up to the top edge but not any further than that really. So just come just below that top edge there, perhaps take it a little bit more, and then, there we go, just underneath that top edge there. And now that I've done that, the next thing I do is I get hold of the left-hand side, and make sure there's no twists in it, but I take the left-hand side, and I pass it over the top of my container there like so, and then when I've passed it over the top of my barrel, I then go down, through that loop at that point there. So I'm gonna take it over the top and down through that loop. And don't get any twists in this one as you do it. You want this one to actually lay flat and parallel to each other. Okay, and so there we go. I have now, if I just, let's see, hang on. Because I'm gonna jiggle this around a bit, I'll just take that in place. I've got a couple of bits of tape because it's taken me about three or four shots to do this. So what I'm gonna do is just take this in place so that you can actually see what I'm up to. Right, so now you can see, i am just moved that into camera view a bit. You can now see that my cordage has gone over the top of the barrel and through that loop that we created originally on the right hand side here. The next thing I do is, all I do is just separate those two out and pass them over the top, over the top of my work like so. Okay, so we've passed it over the top of the work. And then now that I've done that, so let's just see what we've done here. Let's show you that again. So bring that back. So you can see here, my two ends coming out from the loop here, we pass that knotted end over our barrel, so it goes on either side of those two there. Now that we've done that, what we do, let's pretend that the masking tape's not there, what we do is get hold of 
the two ropes that were taped up and you can see here now gradually as I pull up and there we go and as I pull up tightly on that now you can see now that the four legged barrel sling has come into place and all I need to do is just go around and reposition my cords accordingly so it's nice and evenly spaced around my barrel and then there we have it we then have it all in place there and I can spread that out a little bit more is the sticky tapes just taking that into play there we go spread that out a bit more and then if I pull on that now and I'm really pulling tight on that that is not coming undone and then as we let's turn it over there and as you can see there just at that point there the crossing point wasn't quite quite in the middle so you do need to dress it slightly but then if I take it back again there we go and that is now nice and secure it's crossing over there in the middle our lines are almost evenly spaced so all I've got to do is just with this one here just space it out a bit more just pull on the cords space it out a bit more and you can see here now that that is now nice and evenly spaced it takes a little time to dress up but I think even if you've got a slippery container this should hold that slippery container into place and then now it can swing around if you live on board a boat hey hang something in it hang your plants in it so they don't get seasick who knows what you do on a boat anyway so that is the four-legged um, barrel sling. So once again, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me one of them. If you hated it, give me one of them. But whatever you do, leave a comment and also tell me, if, have a go at this knot and tell me how you get on with it. It's very simple to do, but I think it could be a fairly useful one, more for a domestic purpose for hanging plants in, things like that. But you can see a useful little knot to know, and it is fairly secure I mean as I jiggle that now that barrel isn't coming loose and I can sort of pull it to one side quite a bit and that's certainly not coming undone at that point so anyway once again thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time bye bye